Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to do a gum paste rose and I will be using Blossom's modeling paste. I've colored it with a pink flamingo and I've just put a touch of the color into the white Blossom's paste. For today's tutorial we're going to need at least three rose petal cutters and a calyx cutter and a nylon rolling pin your petal pad and ball tool and I'm using an 18 inch uh, gauge wire and this is going to go in the center of the bud and I'm going to show you how to make that too. I've also got a plastic folder and I'm going to put my spare petals in there before I ball tool them. I've also got a whole lot of plastic spoons and I'm going to be putting the outer petals in the spoons to dry which will give them a nice curve and these are the outer petals of the rose and you start off by making your bud and how you do that is you take your gauge wire and you just with your pliers just put a little curl at the top just bend it over this will stop your wire poking through the top of the bud you take a little bit of your gum paste Roll it into a ball and then just with the tip of your finger, roll it into a teardrop. Take your wire, pop it into the glue, just a little bit of glue, and then push that into the bud just to secure it. Now ideally you want to make these buds a couple of days beforehand so that they're nice and firm. And I've made up a few yesterday, which we'll be using today. And these are nice and dry and easy to work with. So the best is to, when you've got a quiet moment, make up a whole lot of buds. You can make them in white, because when, once you've got your petals over them, you're not going to see the color inside. So you can do a whole lot of buds and store them. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to roll out the paste. You want to get it as nice and thin as possible, because you want your petals to be paper thin. So I'm going to roll it out without any guide rollers on the side. I want it to be nice and thin. So I'm just going to roll this out. Roll it up nice and thin. And then how you work out the size of your petals. You take your bud and you hold it against a petal. And it needs to be about three quarters of the size of that bud. If you go with a smaller petal, it's not going to cover your bud nicely. So we're going to use the small, medium and large petal cutters. You need to cut out 12 of the small and 11 to 12 of the medium and about 11 to 12 of the large. And the sequence we're going to use them is we're going to go one petal, then three, then three, then five on the small. I'll put that up in a caption underneath my video and I'll also post the information in the link below. So we start off with the small one. And we're going to cut out one, three, and another three. Clean the around your petal if it's sticking. Right. Always cut an extra one. You never know if you need it or not. Always a good idea. Right, so now I'm going to place some of these in the plastic container to stop them drying out. so long. So what you want to do is take your petal and your ball tool and to ball tool your petal your ball tool is half on the petal and half on the pad and all you do is you just go around that petal and that's thinning the edges nicely and keep your point of your petal because points always go down to the bottom of the flower. 
these quickly. I don't want to have them too curly. The harder you press, the more wavier the petal will become. I don't want these too wavy. So the first sequence of the smalls is we're going to go with one petal, then three, and then another three, and then I will go on to the five. You take your bud and with a bit of water, just cover your bud with the water, and then your first petal you want to put a fair amount of water on that petal. Pick it up, close it over that bud. Just want a tiny little hole to peep through there. So that's your first petal. In the next three, a little bit of water on each petal. And then you start to interleaf them. So your first one goes on. And then your second one you just place in there and bring it around. And your third one tuck it in there and bring that around and there you can see the bud is starting to form. Okay I'm just going to put the other three on and then I'm going to bottle the other five and now we can space these petals out a little bit more. Remember pointy sides down. going to go and bottle the next five. A little bit of water on each one. Or you can use your petal glue if you have. Right. Just putting a little bit of cornflour on my hands just to stop anything sticking. Right. So now we start with the Last of the small rows, the small petal row. And you can just bend some of these petals back ever so slightly. Now I'm going to go on to the next size, which is the medium, and I'm going to be cutting 11 of these, and I'm going to do it in two rows, five and then six. Okay, so you're going to roll this out nice and thin. Remember, you cut out 11 and cut an extra one or two. If you think you've gone thin enough, go thinner. I want them nice and thin. I always say that you must be able to almost see the lines of your board through your paste. So if I hold this up, you can see how thin that is. Okay, with these, I'm not going to put these in the plastic sleeve because I want to dry these on my spoons now. So I'm just going to get out the spoons. Right. And I also like to nick the edge of my um, petals, not all of them, just some of them just to give them a more natural look when you've all tooled them. You do this with your craft knife, or I'm just using the back of my palette knife because those are also sharp. any rough edges on these petals because once you've bore tooled it they'll be fine. 
just going around the edge. Remember the ball must be half on the petal, half on the pad. You take your petal and you place it onto the spoon and you're placing it so that the tips of the petals can just fold back a little bit and you take your petal and you place it in your spoon and gently just turn the tips of the petal back and the petal will dry with a nice curve to it and you do that with all of your petals bottle them place them in the spoon and you leave them to dry for about five to ten minutes you just want to have that shape before you place them onto your rose so I'm just going to finish these off and I will see you just now so now that I've got all my medium petals in the spoons drying I'm going to cut out the large petals then I'm going to do exactly the same process with the large ones I'm going to nick some of the edges and then I'm going to put them in the spoons to dry and then I can move on to my medium ones which will have set by then so I'm going to take my large cutter and I'm just going to roll out the paste so I'm going to cut out about seven of these remember to always cover your paste up either put it under an airtight container or wrap it up in cling foil okay let me just quickly nick a few of these on the edge gives it more of a realistic look once it's all put together and dusted. I'm not going to do all of them, just a few. Right. Same as before, bottle. Bottle's half on the petal, half on the pad. And remember pointy ends down. Well, you're going to end up with a very odd looking petal on your rose. Right. I'm going to place these in the spoons, same as I did for the mediums. Place it in there and curl the ends back. This just gives a nice curve to the petal. If you don't have spoons to roll, your ends back with like that you can take a skewer a thin skewer and you just on the underside of your petal you just roll back that end of the petal there and that will also work and then you place that into the curve of your fruit tray and that will dry the same as the spoons now that your petals have dried in the spoons you can see the shape that they've got and we can start assembling these onto our rows. So I'm just going to take these off. So we're going to do this in sets of five and then six. So I'm going to first put my five on and then I'm going to put the six on. And all of these are the same size. These are the medium petals. So because they're a little bit dry, I'm just going to use a little bit of the um, petal glue instead of the water. And I'm just going to put that onto the petal. Then I can start assembling this. All we're doing is the same as before, just interleafing them. But you can see the nice shape that this rose is getting now that it's been sitting in the spoon with them to dry. Now we can do the same to the other petals. And now I've got six of these. I'm just going to start putting these around. You 
can see how nicely that rose is forming. Right, now we're going on to the last row of the petals. And these are the large petals. And same as before, a little bit of the glue. I'm just doing it sort of from halfway down to that point. You can see how nicely they've dried with that curve there. And this gives them that nice realistic look. Right, now we're going to put on the last row. The last thing we need to do now is the calyx. And I'm going to show you how to do that. All right, just to support your petals, I've pushed my rose, um, I've pushed the wire down into the polystyrene quite, quite deep, and then I'm just going to support those last few petals just with a little bit of cling foil, just to stop them from drooping down. Okay, to make the calyx, I've got a little bit of the green gum paste. I'm just going to break a bit off. Roll that out. And then I'm going to cut the calyx. Alright, so there's your calyx. Now with my veiner, I'm just going to press the center veins through those leaves. Take my ball tool and just flatten those edges. And then with my craft knife, I'm going to go around each leaf. And just cut into it gently and this is going to go on the underside of the rose I'm going to take some water I'm going to take the rose and I'm going to place that calyx at the back center pieces, flatten them all. and there we have our rose. To make a bud, here's a little bud, okay, you're going to do exactly the same as we've made the actual rose, and all I've done is I've cut out four petals, that's the small petal cutter, and I've cut four of those out and I've already ball tooled them. I've made my calyx and all I'm going to do now is I'm just going to place that onto the bud. So with the first petal, quite a bit of water on that. Fold it onto your bud nicely. And then your next three petals go on. Take your calyx, again you put water on this, you place your wire in the center, push it all the way, turn up your rose upside down and just gently press that calyx onto the bud and there we have your rose bud. To finish that rose off, you just need a tiny little piece of green on the underside of that. I'm just going to roll that into a ball, work that up the wire, a little bit of water, and stick that on there. And there's your rose butt. 
I'm going to show you now how to do a couple of little filler flowers and we like to use these in the gaps in the arrangements on our cakes and they're very easy to make. All you're going to need is your wire that you've bent over at the top and I'm just going to take a little bit of gum paste, roll it and then into a teardrop. Pop it in the glue, wipe off the excess and then push that through the center. And then what you want to do is twist that around the wire and work it off and then pull off the excess. But you can see it's onto the wire but when you come to wind that round with the florist tape you can actually push that right up to the top. Now I'm going to take the back of my palette knife and I'm just going to push that onto there and just make a few little indentations and then just with a sharp tool you can poke a little hole in the top. And then once these are dry you can dust them and they look like little buds. That was the rounded filler flower and I'm going to do a pointed one. Same idea as you just roll it and then just make it into a teardrop. A little bit of glue, push it on, secure it onto your wire the same as we did with the other one. You can see I'm just Pushing it onto the wire just so that it sits firmly and then again just with your palette knife on the back. There we go. And you've got the pointed little filler flower bud. But once your flowers are dry you can dust them. Now this rose isn't 100% dry but I'm just going to show you quickly. Just work gently because the petals are still quite soft. So I've taken a little bit of pink and I'm going to start dusting darker on the inside of the rose and then gradually go lighter towards the outside. This just gives it a little bit of depth and just makes it look a little bit more realistic. I'm holding it in the cling foil just to keep the shape but I will leave this to dry overnight before I put it on a cake. Right, I'm just going to leave that one there and I'm going to do the bud. Just try and get your dust into the center and then you can also take your finger and just rub it around the edge of that um, petal. It will also define the petal nicely. Okay. That's that one. And then on the filler flowers, you can go with your yellow, your bright yellow. Just do the center of that. And then you can take your pink. And just dust that. bit of green just around the base. And then we'll wire that and that will be a filler flower, a little filler bud. On the back of this calyx I'm just going to add a touch of green, a little bit of darker green. And then I'm also going to add a touch of orange just to the ends of those calyx leaves. Just literally a little touch. It's also 
also gives it a little bit of depth. Now, if you have a look at these leaves here, let me just take one of these out for you. And I will show you how to make these leaves in another tutorial. But these are all individually made and wired. Same, same way as we did the peony in my previous tutorial. And you can see that I've dusted them with the green and the touch of orange just on the edge. And that gives it that nice realistic look. And I've wired them all onto one stem and then I've wired the leaves onto the row stem. Okay. So once all your flowers are dried, you can assemble them onto your cakes and you can pop in your filler flowers. You can see I've got filler flowers in here that just hides all the little gaps from your arrangement. And there you can see I've got the leaves at the back and I've got some leaves there. I hope you enjoyed today's tutorial and thank you for joining me. And please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. And I look forward to seeing you next time. Till then, goodbye.